Now, from some of the other videos, you've understood that uh, it's very critical to make sure that we're not obstructing the flow when it's getting the liquid to the pump. This is the uh, symptoms that are associated with uh, a restricted or even blocked inlet line. If it is completely blocked, we have no flow. There is no capacity coming out of that pump. Uh, if it's a partial blockage, we may end up with low flow, uh, or we may even end up with some noise, uh, and that would be associated with an NPSH uh, cavitation situation based on that uh, suction line blockage. Uh, some of the tests we'd run, well, just like an NPSH situation, we'd want to install an inlet pressure gauge. And we want that gauge located as close as possible to the suction port of the pump. Uh, we would also want to check and make sure that there are no closed valves along the way. Uh, that any of the valves between the supply tank and the pump are completely open, uh, allowing that liquid to freely flow into the pump. Uh, and then if there is a suction strainer in line, as there should be, uh, we want to check and make sure that that strainer is clean and free from debris, that there's nothing in that basket that is causing a, a, an undue restriction preventing the liquid from reaching the pump. Uh, the remedies for these are simple. Uh, you know, First, if we find any valves that are closed, we want to open those valves completely. We don't want there to be any restriction to the suction side of the pump. And if we find that the strainer is uh, full of material, we want to clean that strainer out. Uh, to make sure that it is clean. Uh, for strainers, I always recommend implementing uh, gauges before and after the strainer to compare those pressures. A clean strainer should have roughly the same pressure entering as exiting. Uh, as that strainer becomes clogged with material, there's going to be a differential pressure across it, and that can indicate that that strainer is going to need to be cleaned. Uh, so either gauges before or after or a differential pressure indicator can resolve that for you.